Hi guys, I'm Zach and this is GG Fistbump. In this video, I'll be showing you how to turn your Android device into a webcam for your PC, especially for the PC version of Zoom. But first, roll the intro. So in one of my previous videos, I did the how to use your iPhone as a webcam for your PC. Since there are a lot of Android users out there, this time we'll be using an Android device and turn it into a webcam. Now why use your phone as a webcam? Well, if your laptop's built-in camera is a bit low quality, having a separate webcam would definitely improve that. Maybe you have a desktop that doesn't have a webcam. Now there are a lot of budget and mid-range phones with good cameras out there and the good thing is you can use this as high quality webcams for your PC. Yes, you can use this for Zoom, for your gaming streams, or even Omegle if you want to. To start, just go to your Play Store and look for DroidCam. I'll place a link in the description below. This is a totally free app so just download right away. Once you download the app, just follow the instructions and install the Partner PC application. Now for this method to work, both the phone and the PC should be connected to the same Wi-Fi network. So go over to your PC and go to www.dev47apps.com. Again, I'll place a link in the description below. If you have a Windows PC, download the Windows client and if you have a Linux, download the Linux client. After the download, just install the program and start it up. Again, make sure that both the PC and mobile device are on the same Wi-Fi network. Now enter the IP address and DroidCam port number displayed in the app into the PC client. Click Start to connect. Unfortunately, it doesn't work with the front-facing camera, just the cameras at the back, which I guess is better because the back camera of phones usually have higher quality. You can actually connect via USB cable as well, but this method is pretty unreliable. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Just connect your USB cable from phone to PC and click on the USB icon then click on start. Depending on your luck, it may or may not work. So if you want consistent results, just use the Wi-Fi method. Let's now head over to Zoom and test out our Android webcam. Start a new meeting. By default, it would run your computer's internal camera. Beside the video icon, you'll see an arrow pointing up. Just click on that and from there, you can choose which source you'll be using for the webcam. So just choose DroidCam and Zoom will now use your Android device as your main webcam. If you want to revert back your built-in webcam, do the same process and just choose your previous camera. Looking at both sources, you can definitely see the difference in the quality of the two. So once you have your Android webcam up and running, you can put your phone in a place that can hold it up. And I guess that's it. If you found this video helpful, interesting, or entertaining, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel then hit on that notification bell for more content just like this. Again, I'm Zach and this is GG Facebook.